So once you, and the thing is you bring an employee in, you, you, you hire them, you train them, you teach them everything, you know, you don't have systems who has the leverage in that relationship now, right? It's like, if you fire them, you're going to have to go bring in a brand new employee, train them one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have any systems. You don't have any processes. Of people think I want great closers. And I'll tell you, if, if closers don't know how to open buying conversations, they might close like two deals a year. But if they know how to open a buying conversation, they really almost have unlimited opportunities. So it's such a important skill set. And to your point, I actually remember on scripts, Ty Lopez uh, had a course for like getting started with social me media marketing. Um, different spelling, of course, Ty. But uh, he was, uh, yeah. one of the things he did is like he included a script. And he sold about 60,000 copies of that course or something like that. And so everybody was sending the same script. And I'm sure like on day one, the script worked. But after, you know, everybody copies and pastes it, it just doesn't have that kind of same effect. And, uh, you know, like one of the things that you've done is like figured out how to like stand out and be different. Like you called it the automation radar, which is so spot on to that point. I remember actually in 2009, the, the cold outreach to plastic surgeons that I was working with at the time for SEO began. So like many people don't realize if, if you're talking to an established business, they've been getting 100 emails a week since 2009. And if you think like just sending them automated messages is they've, they've been trained to ignore this. So there's a huge difference between somebody actually took the time to write something to me and include like a heartfelt, like kind of meaningful offer of, of why we should potentially try and explore, you know, doing some business together. Um, one yeah. other thing I want to talk to you about, Ty, and this is probably, I know you got an awesome Facebook group since I'm part of it and see all the, uh, your awesome posts in there. But one of the things you probably don't talk about enough, in my opinion, is, uh, you guys have like really fucking airtight SOPs and delivery side. And a lot of people, there's a balance in growing an agency between like actually getting clients and then actually delivering on those promises. And one of the simplest ways we found to like scale that and remove yourself is, is having those standard operating procedures. And you got some pretty airtight shit. I would love to know for those people who've never done this process before, what does it look like? How do you know when you're there? And then like kind of what is the outcome when you actually have created these kind of airtight processes and okay. Dave, this is a fucking wonderful question. And I'm, and I'm glad to get into this because this is probably going to be the highlight of this whole interview. Um, what you do is this get to 10 to 15 K a month before you even think about systems and hiring and, and, and automation and all this other ancillary trivial shit, not trivial, but unnecessary shit, yeah. um, for your first 10, 15 K a month, get to 10 to 15 K a month. Prove to yourself that you can consistently and confidently get results for your, get great results for your clients, then turn your attention to systems, then turn your attention to automation and processes. Okay. But once you're at that point, what you want to do is you want to separate your agency into seven or eight departments, right? You can have more, you can have up to 10, 12, if you really want to, it's up to you. <clears throat> so the sales department, the marketing department, the fulfillment department, the management slash HR finance, organization, so on, so on, so on. Separate them, get on a systems management software like Notion, Notion.so. Everyone's heard of that software by now. I was on it since 2018. Or Process Street. Okay, I've used Process Street to build systems. Now I use Notion to build systems. I used Process Street way back in 2018 as well. Um, get on one of these softwares, create a page. Let's talk about Notion specifically. Now create a page for every single department and then systemize every little thing that you do. Syst create a step-by-step -step process for that and go department by department. First of all, first choose, pick a department that you want to systemize first. Maybe it's the organization department. I would try to, assist, if you don't have any employees, I would try to systemize departments that you can hire out entry-level roles for, right? So maybe you want to systemize the organization department. Maybe you want to systemize some of the management and HR um, stuff, client communication stuff, and then boom systemize the shit out of that, hire a virtual assistant, hire an account manager. Um, you're basically systemizing departments one by one. And once you systemize a department, now you can hire people to go execute on that, to go execute the systems. If you don't have systems and you hire employees, they're going to be running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Can confirm, right? by the way. <laughs> they're not going to know what to do. So once you, and the thing is, you bring an employee in, 
you, you, you hire them, you train them, you teach them everything you know, you don't have systems, who has the leverage in that relationship now, right? It's like, if you fire them, you're gonna have to go bring in a brand new employee, train them one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have any systems, you don't have any processes. It's gonna be very, very painful. And they have everything up here. There's gonna be shit that they, don't, that they know that they did not document, that only they know that when you hire someone new, they're not gonna know how to do that. So there's gonna be a huge fall off when you fire that person without systems to where you go and you hire someone new. You build systems, now you gain leverage against, I guess, against your employee, right? So it's like, okay, now you fire them. It's not that painful to hire someone new. You have hiring systems. It's not that painful to onboard them. You have a learning management system where there's a week, two week long course where you literally teach them every single thing they need to know in your business. It's completely hands off, right? You have systems and processes for everything so that whatever they need to execute their day-to-day -day process is completely mapped out, right? And that gives the leverage back to you as an agency owner. Now, if they quit, if they leave, it's like, cool, let me just bring someone in new. It's very painless. It's a painless process. Whereas before it was very painful, right? And um, I can get into how you how you build a system if you want me to get into that as well. It's up I to you. I mean, I'm, I think people are happy to hear your interest. Just a little bit mindful of your time. You know, you got some b-ball to play, shooting some yeah. threes, I hope, doing a little dunking. A little bit, a little bit. I'm going to get, yeah, I'm going to get in it today. But um, basically I built over 300 systems in my music agency, shut down music. When new employees came in, I had this one um, virtual assistant come in, uh, Filipino. And <clears throat> she came in and she was like shocked at how organized we were. She was like, I've never worked at a company that was this systemized, that's organized. That's when you know you got it right, right? That's when you know you're truly scalable. Yeah.